You're still a kitten. But I want to stay up. No buts, Donghua. Someday, someday soon. Maybe even next summer. Just not tonight. Oh. You're going out so late? Yes, to see the fireflies. You know, for the next few nights. Yes, of course. It is that time of the year, isn't it? Why don't you come with me, my dear? The fireflies are so beautiful. Yes, they are. I remember when you first showed me. Mm. <laughs> Aww. Aww. What are you doing out here? I, um, I want to go with you. I want to see the fireflies. But Dongwa, you're too young to be out this late at night. That's what everyone says. But it's not true. I'm almost grown up. It is true. You're not as little as you used to be. Yep, I'm growing up, that's for sure. Yes, but you're still too young. Hmm. When you're a little older, you can see the fireflies. It's a wonderful part of growing up. When you finally see the fireflies, well, it'll be like a rite of passage. Rite of passage? What's that? Well, let's see. There are just certain things in life, wonderful things, that come with growing up. It's like a journey. The further you go, the more you see. You, my son, you are just starting out on your journey. You're just a little kitten now. But as you grow older, the things you'll see... But just not tonight. Now, to bed with you. Tomorrow, I'll show Baba that I'm grown up. More? Oh, you have a bigger appetite than your father. It's good to see everyone practicing. I can't do it. My tail's too short. It's easy. Look. <laughs> Girls, calm down. Well, it looks like somebody's growing up. Excellent work, Dongwa. <laughs> okay, kittens, bedtime.
Dongwa? I can do it myself. So, Papa, can I see the fireflies tonight? Didn't we talk about this last night? I know, but today I proved I was a grown-up cat. I don't know. I can eat and write and walk and get myself ready for bed, just like a grown-up cat. Even the magistrate and cook said so. Very well. If you really want to see the fireflies. But I have to make sure you're really grown up. Wah! I mean, yes. Thank you, Papa. So, we'll go tonight? Not tonight. First, you must understand that being a cat means more than staying up late. The fireflies will be here for another night or two. If you can show me you're truly grown up, I will take you. I won't let you down, Bubba. I can do it. I know I can. But being grown up comes with many other responsibilities. I understand. I do. I really do. All right. We'll start in the morning. <laughs> Wake up, Dongwa. Time for Tai Chi. What? It's still dark. When you're a cat, you have to start the day very early. snack and then clean up this mess what are you talking about you can't tell us what to do yes I can because I'm a cat and you're a kitten now go on no way mama Dala told us I heard everything from the kitchen go on girls please get the snacks but... and while you're gone Dongwa can clean up this mess <gasps> but it's not my mess Grown-up cats clean up after kittens all the time. Take it from me. I should know. <laughs> time for bed. I can't wait. Everybody but Dongwa. What? Are you ready? We must go night fishing. You'll like it. It's very difficult. Very challenging. Difficult? Challenging? Yes, very. And time-consuming. It could take all night, but it's well worth the effort. All night? Ready? Yes, Bubba, I'm ready. Let's go. I can stay up just like a grown-up. I just keep thinking of those fireflies I'm going to get to see. Yes, son. I know you do. So, here we go. On our way. On our way. I'm right behind you. <sighs> Baba and Dongwa, fearless spiders prowling the night. Come on, Dongwa! We don't have time to play. We'll be late. show's about to start. What show? I thought we were going fishing. Shh. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Wow! Fireflies! Hmm. Yes, my son. 
You've earned this. You may not yet be grown up, but you worked so very hard. Yes, son. Was it worth all the hard work? Oh yes, Baba. It was worth it all. Can we see more? <laughs> no, my son. I'm afraid they're finished for the night. Finished for the summer, actually. Come now. We have a long journey home. Ooh, tonight was great. Good night, son. I'm proud of you. So I guess we have Tai Chi at sunrise, huh? Yes. Would you like me to wake you? Well, uh, not really. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I'm ready to be a grown-up yet. You know, I think you're right. You'll be a grown-up someday, but for right now, being a kitten is just what you should be. Get your sleep, and tomorrow, have fun with your sisters. That sounds great. But don't forget the fireflies. coming soon. Are your friends entering the best lantern contest this year? Of course they are. The whole village is entering. They all want to win the prize for best lantern. Such a wonderful honor. Everyone is so proud of the winner. Oh, perhaps I should enter this contest too. Mama, Baba, come quickly. I have an idea, one so important it cannot wait. I have decided to enter the Lantern Festival contest this year. Let me think. This year is the year of the tiger. So, of course, we'll make a tiger lantern. But how do we make one so special? I'll surely win the contest. I've got it! I'll dedicate the lantern to Tai Tai. I'll write a love poem and attach it to the lantern. The judges won't resist a man romancing his own wife. Well, it's all glued together now. Not bad, is it? When I get this glue off my tail, I can start writing his poem on the scroll. <laughs> Look at his sloppy calligraphy. No wonder the magistrate needs us. To my love dumpling Tai Tai, my sweet little lotus blossom pie, I will love you for eternity by the light of this lanternity. <laughs> what verses? He calls this love poetry? <laughs> <laughs> the magistrate will be depending on your beautiful art to win the lantern contest. <laughs> that poem's certainly not going to win him the first prize. Hey, what's that thing? Oh, it's beautiful. Come on, let's get a closer look. Oh. 
looks so real you can almost hear it growl. You can almost see it pouncing. I bet it wins Best Lantern for sure. Well, the lantern might be cool, but this poem is really yucky. Ew! Yuck! All this lovey-dovey stuff. I think love notes are sweet. Well, you haven't read this one. What's a love note? <laughs> it's the sleeve dogs. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Let's see what's been going on in here all day. <laughs> are you coming with me? Oh, those dumplings sure were heavy. What has Cook stuffed them with? Sand? If you didn't gobble up every one that fell on the floor, you'd have more pep. I try to keep my physique. What are they up to? Wow, what a great lunch. I could eat all day. Will you settle down and keep quiet? Hey, I smell something! The <laughs> wild tiger! <laughs> They're going to tear it apart! We've got to protect the tiger! <laughs> Tigers only colored paper. Yeah, but they're real. <laughs> Yay! Those little cats mean business. Let's get out of here. <laughs> It's not our fault. Those sleeve dogs started it. That doesn't matter, Donghua. Look at this mess. Gee, I guess we overreacted, huh? Yeah, I guess it's up to us to fix the lantern. I can glue this box we tore. I can color the patches and repaint his face. And I'll redo that love poem. If only I could remember those yucky words. Great, but we better hurry. The magistrate will probably be back soon. <laughs> a little too much. I like it. There's no time to do it any better. Your Magistrate, I can't wait to see oh! your prize-winning lantern. It is a best quality lantern, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh! Uh, sire, what a... Um, what a creation. What happened to my beautiful lantern? I can't show my face at the festival with this catastrophe as my entry. I'll be the laughing stock of the entire province. But your excellency, commander of all he surveys, this is no time for modesty. The people are expecting your entry. They don't like it. What can we do so the magistrate wins best lantern? Think positive. Great idea. say that this is the magistrate's entry? Why, yes, it is. Well, I'm absolutely speechless. Is it modern art? 
Uh, well, I think it must be. What a stroke of genius! What's on the scroll? It's a poem. It looks as if it's a love poem to the wife of the magistrate. Oh, <gasps> it's written in the most beautiful calligraphy, but it's in the old style. Such beautiful writing, but I can't make out more than a word here and there. Hmm. There's wife. <gasps> there's lotus flower, and uh, there's love. Other than that. I can't read the old style characters. Oh, but it's so beautiful to look at, and to think of paying tribute to her with the ancient style. Oh, what an ingenious concept! My dear, I had no idea you were such a forward-thinking Renaissance man. Well, my delicate Daikon, there are many things you don't know about me. Well, your worthiness. There's nothing wrong with second prize. Why, it's a very good prize. Don't worry, Your Excellency. With all these tiger lanterns, it was a relief to find one that didn't actually oh look like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Such a progressive design. And your impeccable creativeness. There's always next year. It was a beautiful lantern. We all worked so hard to put it back together. It's funny. The judges liked the lantern just the way it was. They liked the way we fixed it. At least we know we did our best. And those judges are right. Second place is good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dongwa's love poem was so pretty. Yeah. And just how did you pull that off? Well, Papa gave me a lesson in old-style calligraphy last week. When I couldn't remember the words of the poem, I decided to use the ancient style. I was hoping the judges wouldn't be able to actually read it. You know what? Maybe next year we should enter the Lantern Festival. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely lantern, my dear. Lovely and different. If I didn't know better, I'd think that poem was in your tale writing style, Dongwa. Oh, it's a long story, Baba. You see, first the sleeve dogs made a mess of your lantern, and we tried fixing. <sighs> Maybe you should tell us tomorrow. Something tells me it's an interesting story, with a very happy ending, and to. Think. You wrote a beautiful love poem to me, and in that beautiful old style calligraphy, I didn't even know that you knew the old style. Well, my precious Peach, as I said, I have many talents you don't know about. Now this afternoon you must play outside. The magistrate is having an award ceremony for a very brave hero. What hero, Mama? Last night during the storm he saved two men whose boat was sinking. Really? Wow! That's brave. So under no circumstances can you be in the palace this afternoon. And as a reward, tonight I'll take you to the hero's parade. A hero's parade? Wow! One of 
of these days, I'm gonna be a big hero, just like that one who saved the men in the storm. It'll be pretty hard for you to save someone from a storm when you're hiding under your covers. <laughs> ah, who was that? Don't worry, even if it's a ferocious hungry lion, I'll use my kung fu to push back its paw, grab it by the tail, and twirl it around and around. anything big and ferocious around here, but if it makes you feel better, I'll check it out. <laughs> just as I thought. They're just a bunch of scaredy cat Keep up! I'm okay. Huge claws! It must be a giant! There! Maybe he's going to attack the village! We should tell someone so he can be captured! Wait a second, wait a second. Are you crazy? This could be our big chance. For what? To be dim sum for a bear? No, this is our big chance to be heroes. Big heroes. I bet they'd even have a parade for us. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Hold on, hold on. How are we going to catch a mean giant bear? Hmm. I have the perfect plan. Okay, Fufu, you and I make noise and chase him into the trap. Ready, Sogwa? Ready! a baby bear? There's nothing brave about that. Well, we'd be bigger heroes if we caught a bigger bear, but I'll settle for being any size hero I can. Come on! Uh <laughs> we got you now, bear! Wait! We're not supposed to go in the palace today, remember? The magistrate's award ceremony. Starting. This isn't good. The magistrate does hereby decree that Ji Yun Fong performed with great heroism in the face of great adversity. Oh, watch it! Oh. <laughs> we 
Which way should we go now? Shh! He's in Tai Tai's room. After him, Foo Foo! Me? You go after him. Oh no! You go! I'll wait here so I can pounce on him when he comes out! <laughs> <laughs> Whips every time! We got you surrounded now. What do you have to say for yourself, you... you... bear? <laughs> oh, great. What do we do now? I don't know. Talk to him, I guess. Hey there. I'm Sagwa. I'm... Ling Ling. Why are you crying, Ling Ling? Why am I crying? First, that thunderstorm scared me. Then I got lost from my family. And now, you keep chasing me. You'd cry, too. Look, we just wanted to catch you before you attacked the village. So we'd be big heroes, and then they'd have a parade for us. I don't want to attack your village. Uh, could you maybe pretend like you want to uh, until after we get our own parade? <laughs> no, I just want to go home. <laughs> Forget the parade. We have to get him out of here and back to where he lives. What about being heroes? We'll just have to wait for another time. And a bigger bear. Not only putting his own needs aside, but facing danger head on and with unnerving courage. I don't know, Dangwa. Are you sure we have to do this? Trust me, no one's seen him yet, but we can't take a chance. Okay, Ling Ling, nice and slow to the door. Someone's coming? Run! No! Ling Ling! Oh. 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 I can't look! <laughs> Sorry, it was getting too hot in there. Back home in the mountains, it's nice and cool. You live in the mountains? Well, that makes it easy to get you home. Yeah, there's only like a gazillion mountains around here. So, what do you like to do for fun, Ling Ling? Oh, you know, eat bamboo, watch bugs, play in the waterfall. Aha! A waterfall! I know a mountain with a waterfall. You keep walking that way. I'll go see if I can find Ling Ling's family. <laughs> I meant to do that. Looks like you'll be home soon, Ling Ling. You can count on Foo Foo. A wild <gasps> dog! <gasps> Run! Run! Hurry! Faster! <laughs> Pandas climbed trees? Really? We shell now are called giant cat bears. I guess that kind of makes us cousins. Um, I hate to interrupt this family reunion, but maybe we should try to get rid of that wild dog. Let's all make noise together. Maybe we can scare it that way. One, two, three. <sighs> Wow, Ling Ling, that was one weird noise. It wasn't me. Mama! Ling Ling! Must have got some <laughs> dirt in my eye. And I want you to have these necklaces as awards for helping me and my little Ling Ling find each other again. You are all heroes. Big heroes! You heard what Ling Ling's mother called us heroes. Big heroes! Too bad there's no parade. Who says? This parade goes all the way back to the village. Hey, maybe next time we can try to catch something really scary. A lion! Oh, or a 
a huge elephant or a dong one.